Hello Aries, thank you so much for tuning in. This is going to be your weekly love reading. If the reading resonates with you, please be sure to click on the like button and just tap on the red subscribe button on the bottom left hand side of this video. By doing so, any future readings that I post will come up on your YouTube feed automatically. Um, if it does not resonate with you, please keep in mind these are general readings. They are not meant for everybody. And uh, to also check into your moon rising and Venus sign, okay? So let's go ahead and get started, Aries. Let's see what we have for Aries. What love messages do we have for Aries? June 2nd to June 9th, 2019. Okay. So we have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. We have some Aquarius. Libra, Gemini, we have Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Okay, all right, Aries. Underlying, uh, energy here of your reading is the Hierophant, which is beautiful, okay? So that means uh, unity, marriage, deeper commitment, okay? So so something here, um, you, you know, your energy is a very committed energy. It's a very committed energy. So here we have the Seven of Pentacles. So the Seven of Pentacles, again, is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. And um, you're thinking about someone, Aries. You're thinking about someone from your past. You're thinking about... Uh, you know, a past situation. And here it's telling me you have the Four of Swords, um, which is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. You need to take a break. You need to take some mental rest because you're just thinking on, the, on this person way too much. It's giving you so much anxiety. All right. Now here we have the Fool being clarified by the Page of Wands. So the Fool is... Um, the Fool is new beginnings, and it also means taking a risk, but you have to be careful because, you see, you have the little dog there that's trying to warn him, hey, you're about to go off of this cliff, okay? So it does mean new beginnings, and it does mean taking new chances, but it also means be careful, okay? So we're going to have the Page of Wands coming in. Um, now, Wands is, uh, you know, definitely communication, but when a Page of Wands comes in, it's not like the King of Wands coming in. You know, it's, it's a message, but it's it's a very light message. Someone is going to be coming towards you with, with a message, but it's going to be, you know, it's not going to be like a full-blown dedication of love. I feel like, you know, someone's just going to be coming towards you um, and you're going to have a decision to make. Okay, you're going to have a decision to make because it's either you're like you're up and down with this person, you're up and you're down with this person, and it's really, you know, it's really taking up a lot of mental space. It's making you tired. It's making you think a lot, right? So here we have, you know, you try having to make a decision and, you know, you just want to kind of get out of this bad headspace and move on to, to calmer waters. You know, you kind of want to get out of the situation because you're getting tired, Aries. You're really tired of, uh, you know, the up and down, the up and down. Um, here we have, I think this is beautiful. We have the moon and the sun clarifying each other okay so whatever secrets whatever whatever's being hidden in the dark is definitely going to come to light here okay so whatever you know if this person is up and down and up and down and you don't understand what's going on aries you're definitely going to find something out because see you're moving on here you're moving on from the situation to more peaceful waters and i feel like that's going to be because you're about to find out something that you know has been hidden from you so here we have the Seven of Pentacles once again. Yeah, what did I say? Being clarified by the Ten of Swords. All right. So you're thinking about somebody. You're thinking about something. You're focusing on that person. But whatever you're thinking about is going to come. It's going to come crashing down, Aries. It's going to come crashing down. The great news about this card is, for as bad as it looks, it means that it's going to. It's basically like washing something out of your life that doesn't serve a purpose for you anymore, and you're going to be moving on. As I said, to calmer waters, you're going to have new beginnings and it's going to be 
Um, it's going to be illumination for you. It's going to be, you know, a new beginning for you to start something more positive in your life. Now we have the Fool here being clarified by the Eight of Cups. So the Eight of Cups is emotional disconnection, okay? So I feel like that what this is telling us is that you're deciding on taking the risk and just moving away from this person. You're going to take, because this is a person who's emotionally disconnected, but their body is still there, almost like a shell, you know? But emotionally, they're just kind of done with the situation, Aries. You're just like over it. Now, again, this can be, um, you know, this could be vice versa. It could be your person's energy, but... We do have a lot of Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo here. You know, so that's the type of energy that I'm feeling. Okay, so we have the, the Two of Pentacles here being um, clarified by the Page of Pentacles. And again, it's a page coming in. I don't see any knights coming in full force, you know what I'm saying? Or, or any, you know, I don't, I don't see anything like really rushing towards you. I, I see these tiny little messages coming towards you of you know, hey, I'm kind of sorry, do you still want me, like, the up, the down, I kind of want you, I kind of don't, you know, so that's really confusing, and it's going to cause you a lot of anxiety, all right, so you have the moon here being clarified by the, uh, by the eight of swords, now the eight of swords meaning, it means that, like, you feel like something's going on behind your back, you feel out of place, you feel like you don't know where you belong, you feel like you don't know where you stand in this relationship, Aries, you just feel totally out of place. And that's what I'm saying. You know, you have to come to some type of decision. Do I stay or do I go? You know, am I going to move on to something more peaceful where I know that I feel loved and I don't, I don't have to deal with mind games, all right? And, um, you know, the truth is going to come out there. So here we have the um, Four of Swords being clarified by the Six of Pentacles, okay? So the Six of Pentacles... Um, is money coming in, but it could also be a past relationship. So again, like, you know, the energy here is marriage. So maybe it's an ex-husband or an ex-wife that we're thinking about, or someone that you were very deeply committed to in the past. All right. So, you know, we can be, you know, we can be in that mind frame with the six of pentacles. Can, we can be thinking about someone from your past. So we do have, you could be thinking about like trying to reconciliate with someone from your past. All right, so here we have the Page of Wands being clarified by the Empress, okay? So this person coming towards you, okay? So we have two pages coming towards you. So you are going to get some messages coming in, but they do see you as like, you're an empress, you know what I'm saying? You're creative, you can take care of yourself, you're, um, you know, independent, a great mother, a great wife, very nurturing, very caring. They do see you as, like, you know, their, their top person, Aries. You know, they know that you got it all, you know, they know that you have it going on, um, but something is happening behind your back. There's some type of separation here because I, I don't feel like you guys are together right now. I mean, I feel like, you know, and if you are, you're completely emotionally disconnected. We don't have any cards here indicating that love is happening right now. All I see is someone going through a really hard time. You know, someone that's, you know, you have the, the eight of swords here. We have something crashing down. We have you needing mental rest. We have you wanting to move on to better waters and you emotionally disconnecting yourself and you're thinking about, you know, something from your path, you're thinking about something other than where you are right now, and you have to make a decision, you're thinking about taking that risk, all right? So here we have um, the Ace of Wands, the Ace of, of, I'm sorry, the Ace of Pentacles is clarifying the Six of Swords, okay? So what that means is you're moving on to a new beginning here. You're getting in this boat, moving on to more peaceful waters, and you have this beautiful new beginning here, and this is prosperity, okay? This new beginning is going to help your finances, your mental health, your, your, your emotional health. I mean, it's just a beautiful new beginning happening here. And then we have the sun being clarified by the king of pentacles, okay? So, again... Remember, this was clear. The, the, yeah, the moon, the sun, and the king of pentacles all in a row here. So I do believe that secrets are going to come to light about this king of pentacles, about this person that you're thinking about. 
Okay, the King of Pentacles is someone mature, financially stable, um, you know, very good with money. Okay, so you know, this could mean one of two things either we have secrets coming out, coming to light about this person, or the fact that secrets came out and light was shed on it brings you to this person, Aries. Okay, brings you to someone more mature, dependable, financially stable. This is generally an older person that you can lean on. It's the type of person that you want to have in your life. You know, it's it's Mr. Hubby, Mr. What you know, Mrs. Wifey, Mr. Hubby. It's like that stable, dependent, dependable person, which obviously the person that's putting you through this is not. Okay, they are not that person. Um, so I believe that this new beginning and everything coming to light, the secrets coming out, is going to lead you to the one here, okay? Yeah, so here you have marriage is on your mind, a deeper commitment is on your mind, you're ready for something serious, Aries, and with all of this bad energy happening, I feel like the person that you're currently with or, or you know, or wanting to be with does not want that commitment with you okay they don't want that commitment with you and by you moving on to this new beginning okay the card clarifying this is victory and success and wish fulfillment and soulmate energy here okay soulmate energy and money coming in through the person that you're with i mean this is like the whole nine here and honestly aries i feel like that's this dude here it all leads to this guy all right. So I honestly think, Aries, that if you can get yourself out of this bad situation that you're in, if you can hop on this boat and get away from this toxic situation, you're going to have some really good stuff coming up here. I mean, you have money. You're, it looks like putting these two together, like you're going to meet a man or a woman that's, you know, very well off financially, a soulmate. They're going to make all your wishes come through. Victory and success, new beginning and prosperity and marriage. All right, so Aries, I do believe that wherever you're at right now is something that you, you know, should move on to. But ultimately, you know, with the Hierophant, you have to use your intuition and make your own decisions about, you know, if you're ready or not. Okay, so that's why you're sitting there thinking, am I ready or not? You know, okay, Aries, well, let me go ahead and pull some uh, romance angels for you to get a little bit of clarification. So here we have honeymoon. You deserve love. Express your love and new love, Aries. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings, okay? So what this is telling me is you deserve better than what you're going through right now, Aries. You really do. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture, okay? When this new love comes in, Accept that love coming towards you, Aries. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. You're going to be going away with this person. I have a fan, like I, I have this vision of this like knight in shining armor coming towards you, you know, with being the type of person that you've always dreamed of and taking you away. That's really beautiful. Well, you know, Aries, like I said, you have the sun and the moon here together clarifying. All right. So that means out with the old, in with the new out with the old and with the new. I think you have a lot of beautiful uh, things coming your way here, Aries. All right, if you enjoyed your reading, Aries, please go ahead and hit the like button and be sure to click on that red subscribe button on the bottom left-hand corner underneath the video. I wish you the best of luck. Take care.